five things handsome men must never do. Now, if I look away, if I look down like this, it's because I'm looking at my computer. I took copious notes before I made this video because I wanted to hit every single point handsome men must not do. So listen closely. All handsome is when the modern person or the average guy, when Austin Dunham, all the niggas that y'all listen to, y'all watch, when they say handsome, it's really a colloquialism or colloquialism, however you pronounce that. Somebody sent me a voice message on how to pronounce that. But it's really a nicer way of saying big dick energy. You know that trend where hoes on Twitter was talking about, oh, big dick energy this, big dick energy that. All handsome, handsome is just in that, you understand me, in that sphere, under that umbrella of big dick energy. Which is why everything that you must not do as a handsome man falls under the little dick energy umbrella. So let's get into it. The first thing that a handsome man must never do is listen to me. Neg. Neg. That asshole game, that neg, bro, that calling a girl, you feel me, a dumbass, you, like to her face. I'm saying handsome men don't need to do that. That's like an ugly nigga tactic, bro. And I know because I've tried it, bro. Like, don't don't think I haven't tried it, bro. Because when I was, you feel me, looking into the pickup sphere, looking in the pickup, they say, oh, neg, display high value, negger, negger, negger. And I didn't understand, like, the nuance of negging. So I'll be talking to a girl. And I'll be like, like, I kind of, I do a little too much. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I would do a little too much. I'd be like, shut the fuck up, dumbass bitch. Or something like that. And what I peeped is, I can say it now because you feel me, I'm chill about it. But what I peeped is that, like, it really comes off as you just being an a-hole, bro. And if that works off rip, like, that, you're just an asshole. If you're handsome and you do that, bro, like, because you won. That's the thing. Like, when you're handsome, you come into a position of authority above her already so when you're handsome she already sees you as above her like baseline so for you to come in and like try and neg her that's like oh like you're trying to prove yourself to her it kind of has the reverse effect as when an ugly nigga does it an ugly nigga come in like oh shut the fuck up dumbass bitch now he like now he right there you feel me like now he's has that position of authority which is why handsome men don't need to do that bro like if you watch the first handsome man video i posted I basically was like, you don't have to overcompensate for anything. Like that's that's the key. Like you should not overcompensate. You already handsome. You already won. So negging just makes you look like an asshole, bro. Like that that whole thing. You could really, really do, like baseline. You could kind of be nice, bro. Like not even nice, but cordial. Like you don't have to do too many tricks. Like you don't have to do too many word tricks, verbal tricks. Where like you can roast her. Like don't get me wrong. You can roast her a little bit. I roast girls. I roast niggas, like, I'm, I'm kind of a ball buster, I'm a ball breaker, like, my little cousins, my, my friends, they know me, it's like, I'm a ball breaker, but I be playing, everybody knows I be joking when I be busting balls, but, you feel me, don't overcompensate, that's like the key thing, do not overcompensate, that's the first thing a handsome man must never do, second thing a handsome man must never do, and this is crazy, mate guard, bro, like, my philosophy on mate guarding applies to handsome men in this way specifically if you're mate guarding as a handsome man one of two things are true one of two things are true you're not that handsome or she's a thought and if either of those are true and you're you're mate guarding bro like if you have to mate guard on her one of those two things are true right and if she and if and if you don't mate guard and she gets taken you dodge the bullet you either have to you have to do both you have to find a new girl and improve Regardless, you have to find a new girl and you have to improve. Now, the time you may want to make guard, bro, because I was at the club. Let me just tell you a little story. I was at the club and I was pulling this girl, bro. I was like talking to this girl. But I didn't know some other dude had been like putting in work before me or whatever. But I'm really, you feel me? I'm putting in that work. She <laughs> laughing, choosing all the above. And dude come up to me like this. Get to talk to me. Like, you feel me? Like walk directly in front of me and her. So I'm like, what's up, man? Like, I'm never going to fight nobody over a girl. That's the craziest thing you could do. I'm never going to like, I'm like, the way he did buck up at me was crazy, but I'm not going to fight him. So I'm, I'm instantly like, what's your name, bro? Like introducing myself. But where he went wrong was like, his girl was going, bro. But I get why he did that though. Cause I could have had his girl, bro. Like I could have just left with his girl. So I get why he, as a man less attractive than me, as like a non-handsome man was trying to make guard, right? 
But at the end of the day, like, if you have to do all of that to keep your girl away from somebody, she should not, like, that's my whole philosophy. You should not be with her. Handsome men should never make guard, bro. And if you have to, if you feel you have to make girl guard as a handsome man, she, one, she's a thought, or two, you're not that handsome, bro. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah, so if you feel you have to make guard, bro, like another another dude talking to your girl should literally send her to your arms. You feel me? So like if another nigga just comes up and just spitting game at her at your girl, she need to come up to you, she need to grab your arm like this, and she need to be like, oh ha 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 ha. Or she need to be like, help me, help me. If it's like one of if it's not your girl, girl, but you feel me, a girl you talking to or something, she'll if she'll be like, help me, help me, help me. That's when you go up, you be like, hey. Let's go, baby, or something like that. But if you feel you have to make guard, bro, she's a thought or you're not that handsome. Either way, you need a new girl. Like, and if she goes, bro, you need a new girl regardless, bro. Like, make gardening is the craziest thing a man could do, handsome or not. But especially handsome men do not need to make guard. Ugly men, I understand, bro. If you ugly, bro, do whatever it takes to keep your girl. You feel me? Yo, you feel me? But honestly, women should be make guarding you. Like, in all truth, in all reality, women should be made guarding you. Like, you should be so great as a man, such a prize, like, such a valuable man. And I'm going to do, I'm going to, as, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go over this book in one of my, in, like, maybe the next, like, two, three videos. I'm going to go over this book and the findings that I found in this book that dis, that show you the market, bro, that, that explain the market, that explain your value. You specifically, I'm talking to you, that explain your value in relation to other women. So I'll do that in a different video. But have that in mind. That your value should be such. That the woman is mate guarding you. And I'm not talking about on no dickhead. Like oh, oh men women. I'm talking about like literal supply and demand bro. Like literal supply and demand. Factual findings. That if women were to look at the data. They would understand. And the smart women do understand this. That like you are to be guarded bro. Like. Like as a man, she should be she should not be like insecure, but as a man, your shorty should be trying to keep you away from other women. Like really. On to thing three. Oh, but before we go to the third thing, comment something that you should never do as a handsome man. Just something you picked up on your own. Put that in the comments right now. And while you're there, like and subscribe. I need more subscribers and I need more likes. And as a matter of fact, you might want to share this with somebody who kind of handsome but not really getting no play. Like somebody just, you feel me, who's at that like little, at right at the peak of like blossoming with the thoughts. You feel me? Like right there. Just not, you feel me, not really going. And I think like that, that, that for a lot of men is like eight bodies. Like once you got eight bodies, you're like right there. You're like about to break. You're about to break through and start pop, 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 if you want. Like, if that's what you want, if you want to, the girls come up. But, like, right at eight bodies, you just push a little further, and then you're to the next level. You know what I'm saying? But third thing handsome men should never do. Like, and this is such an ugly nigga thing, bro. But, like, it's an ugly nigga thing. Um, but handsome men can fall into this trap, bro. Resenting women. Hear me out. A handsome man should not resent women because we're going to be around a lot more women than the average man. Let me explain this. A lot of the men who started getting good with women after they got money, because this is the thing, like a lot of niggas don't get good with women until they get money. Once they get good with women, when they get money, bro, you're getting like a whole different type of woman. Like you're starting off with a whole different type of woman, bro. Like, you already there with all the crazy women, bro. I don't even know how to... Maybe I have better words for this. A better word will come to me a little later in the video. But imagine this. You're getting no girls. Now you have money. Now you're getting, like, a bunch of... A lot of opportunities, bro. A lot of attention. A lot of opportunities. And, like, girls are coming. And then now you're learning all these lessons. And all these lessons seem to be tied to your money, right? All these lessons seem to be tied to your money. And plus, you've had a whole bunch of time without girls then you get money now you get girls now you're jaded you feel me so that's why like that's why a lot of niggas bro resent women and it's probably because they weren't getting no play like before they had money bro which is like 
which is fair to be honest but as a handsome man we're going to attract a lot of women in general like before we get money after we get money from from birth types not from birth but you feel me like once we blossom type shit so you can't resent women because if you resent women they're going you're going to repel most of the women bro like you're gonna repel most of the women you otherwise could have attracted and i peeped that bro like because i probably got like really handsome like when i turned 20 maybe 21 like that's when i got like really handsome like i was already i was like a cute little boy you feel me getting play and stuff i was a little smooth but i wasn't really handsome until 2021 20 or until i was 21 but i was getting out of a relationship so i kind of i kind of resented women bro like i kind of resented women bro because my girl had just left me and like i was just i just resented women bro but i was getting all this attention like, i was getting a lot of attention from a lot of girls and this was the first like the first baddie I fumbled, bro. The first baddie I fumbled. I'll never forget her, bro. I'll never forget her. Just because, like, she was the first baddie I fumbled, bro. Like, the first nine. First nine I fumbled. So, I'm like, all right. Um, I hate women now. But but I hated women. Like, because I kind of hated women already, I, that's how I fumbled her. So, she had, so, here's the story. She came through. And I was acting in ways like I had I had all these expect expectations, right? I had all these expectations about how a woman should be, about how a woman should treat me. But in reality, I'm 20 with no assets and all I am is handsome. You know what I'm saying? And she barely knows me. So there's a lot of things you could do to offset where you're like you offset your deficiencies in a relationship by the strength of one selling her on your future. And you know what I'm saying? Selling her on the man you're becoming that'll keep her around but before i i didn't understand that and i had just been listening to what you feel me what these red pill people been saying in my ear and i just had been resenting women so i was like you should respect like in my mind what was going on in the background was like you should respect me off rip you uh, i'm the man in this you should submit respect me da -da 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 -da. but in reality she didn't know me bro i didn't do no type of selling which is why i kind of like fumbled it you know what i'm saying which is why i fumbled it because i was acting in ways that kind of resent not like when there's hate in your heart, when there's hate in your heart, bro, you're gonna act in hateful ways on accident, bro. And if you have that resentment towards women, you're gonna repel women, bro. Like you're going to repel women. And plus, as a handsome man, you're going to get more women and more like ranges of women in general. And the key as a handsome man to like get a lot of love from these women, get a lot of sex from these women, you have to meet them where they're at and you have to understand them. You feel me? So you can't really you can't resent women that's probably the most repulsive thing a man could do is resent a woman the repulsive thing a handsome man could do like an ugly nigga could not get no women like it's fair to resent them bro like you're not getting none bro like life sucks at the bottom like for everybody life sucks at the bottom life sucks at the bottom period bro financially looks wise life is not good at the bottom but also don't know women want to be with a nigga at the bottom you feel me so if life sucks at the bottom and you resent women at the bottom, you're not gonna get no women because no woman wanna go down there. So at the very least, even ugly men, bro, should stop resenting women, bro. But that's one thing a handsome man cannot do at all, bro. Like, do not have that in your mind at all, bro. Resenting women, that's gonna have you acting in weird ways. That's gonna have you acting in hateful ways. And that's gonna get you in some trouble too. All right, fourth thing a handsome man should never do. Now hear me out on this, bro, because there's some nuance to what I'm about to say. But this thing, bro, a handsome man should never say sorry. You know what I'm saying? But hear me out. Because it's the type of sorry you handsome niggas doing, bro. I know, bro. I talk to y'all. I consult y'all. And I, I know, bro. I be knowing. I talk to the women. Bro, girls be in my ear. I ain't gonna lie to you. About probably like maybe a fifth of my game. Maybe a third of my game comes from just girls just complaining to the, about their boyfriends to me, bro. Or complaining about these niggas they've been on dates with. So like really, I get to I get to learn a lot by you feel me, the messages y'all be sending these girls, nigga. So why I say like don't say sorry? There's this genre of man. There's this genre of handsome man at that, bro. Cause like I know these niggas. There's a genre of handsome man who will text a girl like, oh my gosh, sorry, sorry, like a damn. <sighs> I was finna say the beat, bro, like a damn, like, just like a little weak-ass nigga, bro, like, sorry, I, I wrote down some examples, sorry I texted you late, who am I kidding, you niggas don't text late, it's more like, it's more like, 
sorry I'm so forward, but can I get your number? Or, or, or sorry, sorry, babe. Sorry, babe, I did that. Sorry, you didn't like that. Sorry, babe. Like, bro, apologizing for nothing. My nigga, when I apologize, bro, to anybody really as a rule of thumb, but when I apologize, I mean it. Like, I mean it. Like, bro, when I, last time I apologized for a girl is because I, like, I roasted her, bro. Like, we had, like, a nasty little ending. You feel me? And I did a little too much. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I realized, like, and she said, she said, now you're just being hurtful for no reason. And I was like, maybe you're right. I'm sorry. And that was the last time I said sorry to a girl because I meant it, bro, because I didn't really mean to get out of body. But, like, when you niggas just say sorry just to, like, shut her up or something, bro, don't ever do that, bro. And never apologize for your opinion either. Don't ever say sorry for your opinion, bro. And when I got caught cheating, when I got caught cheating, I was sorry that I embarrassed her. I said, I'm sorry for embarrassing you, but I do not regret getting with these women. I'm sorry about the ways I did it, but I'm not sorry that I cheated because I because I meant it. And this isn't a flex. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not a flex, bro. Like I was a dirty nigga. I was like, sorry for I was genuinely sorry for how I acted, but I was not sorry for the things that transpired like bro like i was really on demon time over that time bro i ain't gonna lie to you but had i been sorry prematurely i would have lost her because i didn't lose her right after i cheated bro we were still together for a little bit after i cheated but had i been like immediately sorry right when i cheated bro i would have lost her i would lost her just because like as a like y'all know nigga like the key to being the man is standing on your decisions good bad right wrong stand on it you know what i'm saying but also you can take accountability as a man you can take accountability without being a little i'm sorry man you feel me like you have to understand you have to keep it a thousand too you have to keep it a thousand you have to accept the consequences and you should only apologize if you feel the need to apologize like if you're hurting on the inside, bro, say sorry. I ain't gonna lie to you. But otherwise, don't say sorry, bro. Like don't say sorry for nothing minor. And like and even the last time I said sorry to a girl, I said my fault. I like I ain't even say sorry, bro. I said my fault. You feel me? Cause I still I still did what I did, but it was my fault though. Like, I'm not gonna say, oh, I shouldn't, bro. Like just stand on what you do, bro. That's the key though. Like as a handsome man, you should stand on what you do. As a man, you should stand on what you do. But especially as a handsome man, bro. Cause like. If you apologizing like a female, like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry I texted you. Like, bro, like, nigga, that's feminine, bro. And, like, you already handsome. You already handsome. Girls is going to be looking at you. Like, if you, like, a pretty type of nigga, girls is going to be looking at you like you sweet. You feel me? So, you can't you can't really have, like, too many sweet qualities. But take this, bro. I'm going to put a pin in that. Remember that. You can't really have too many sweet qualities. But at the same time, you do have to kind of be nicer to people. Like, you do have to be a kinder individual. This is because people are looking up to you, bro. You're an example. You feel, as a handsome man, you're an example, bro. Niggas want to get like you. Little do they, little, like, never will they admit it. But niggas be wanting to get like you. So, I'll be hearing it, bro. Like, you can hear it through the nuance of their situ of their actions and words. You know what I'm saying? So, you have to kind of be an example. Which leads me to the final thing a handsome man should never do. A handsome man should never forget he's handsome. Because, because you are an example. Because you are a pillar in the community, bro. You are a pillar in the community. You're handsome. You have nice teeth. You have a jawline. You have some muscles. You know what I'm saying? You are a pillar in the community. You must be an upstanding individual. Men are looking at you, bro. Boys are looking at you, bro. Niggas younger than you are looking at you. You have to be an upstanding individual as, as much as possible. Now, of course, you have your flaws. Every man has their flaws. But you must not forget that you're handsome. What were my other points? Bro, you have... Bro, you can let that shit get to your head, bro. Which you should to an extent. But, like, you must ground yourself. Which is why you have to understand what comes with being handsome, bro. Because not everybody gets this, bro. Because you ever heard of pretty girl privilege? There's handsome man privilege. And I understood this on the phone with my mom bro i was picking up some from the grocery store from my og and i was on the phone with her and she said oh that lady she real real nice to you she real excited to see you it was just some old lady and i was like come to think of it she did ignore the lady in front of me and ignore the lady behind me like it was refreshing to see a young handsome nigga bro <laughs> smell good look good you know what i'm saying nice hi how you doing today you know what i'm saying like it was refreshing to her and i was like mom that's not real. She's like, yes, it is. Listen, all I got to do is be a handsome man. I get whatever I want from these old ladies. And I was like, you actually kind of right. 
Like, now that you say something, you kind of right. People do treat me better. Old ladies in particular do treat me better, bro. There's not an old lady who's treated me wrong. I'm handsome. No, I'm lying, bro. There's been old ladies who treat me wrong, whatever. Just on some other shit. But like, but, like, in general, people do treat you better, bro. So you have to understand that, bro. Because that type of thing puts a target on your back. Like, niggas be one, bro. An asshole with nothing has less targets on his back than a man with everything, than like a handsome man with everything. You know what I'm saying? He could be nice, kind, but he has everything, bro. He's handsome. He's tall, strong, got some money. Niggas want to take him out versus an asshole. He's mean to everybody. Got more, more you would think enemies than anybody, bro. <clears throat> Always nasty attitude. You feel me? Rude to, rude to motherfuckers, bro. He doesn't have as many enemies as the man with everything because the man with everything niggas want what he got and that kind of, that hurts that hit different when somebody want what you got and you can't have it that hits different you don't care about the nigga who mean to you but he don't have shit bro it's like life being his ass but like that that envy bro that envy that is evoked that envy that is evoked from a nigga with everything, bro, or buy a nigga with everything is different. So, which is why you have to you have to move in a certain way when you're handsome. A handsome man must never forget that he's handsome. That he's handsome. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments. If you're not getting play and you're a handsome man, there's a guide that I wrote for this exact situation, for this exact problem. Otherwise, sign up for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. I'll talk to you basic. Oh, bitch, I'm a new sensation. New bitch, but the same temptation. Different place or a new rotation. Different face, but the same relation. High taste, high class. High girls, high fashion. Maybe we had passion. Maybe we was high. Should've been everlasting.